scary AI is on the horizon. The CEO of OpenAI expressed that we may be nearing a point where AI tools have the potential to become frighteningly advanced. After the surge in public interest for generative AI tools, Sam Altman, the creator of the widely popular ChatGPT, shared his perspectives on the present and future state of AI. Artificial intelligence is one of the most exciting and rapidly advancing fields of technology today. However, as AI becomes increasingly integrated into our daily lives, concerns are growing about its impact on society. In this video, we'll explore some of the latest developments in AI and how experts are working to address the challenges it poses. Let's dive in. The Potential Dangers of AI According to the CEO of OpenAI, Sam Altman, the world may not be that far from potentially scary artificial intelligence tools. Altman made these comments in a Twitter thread in response to the explosion of public interest in generative AI tools. While Altman admits that current generation AI tools aren't very scary, he believes that we're potentially not that far away from scary ones. This is a sentiment that is shared by many AI ethics experts. One of the biggest concerns is the possibility that AI systems could become too intelligent and uncontrollable leading to disastrous consequences for humanity. One example of this is the concept of recursive self-improvement, where an AI system could improve its own capabilities at an exponential rate, far surpassing human intelligence and decision-making abilities. This could potentially lead to a scenario where the AI system is beyond human control and may make decisions that are detrimental to humanity. Another potential danger of AI is the development of autonomous weapon systems. These systems could potentially make decisions to engage in warfare without human intervention, leading to the possibility of unintended consequences and increased risk of conflict. There is also the possibility of AI being used to manipulate public opinion and election outcomes. This could be done through the creation of fake news or the use of targeted advertising based on personal data collected by AI systems. Finally, there is also the potential for AI to be used for malicious purposes, such as cyber attacks or theft of personal data. This could have serious implications for national security and personal privacy. The dystopic present According to experts, we are not on the brink of potentially scary AI applications. But instead, we are currently residing in a dystopian present due to the utilization of AI in critical areas that have genuine repercussions on individuals' prospects. Sarah Myers West, managing director of the AI Now Institute, has told that, in many senses, that's already where we are, referring to the use of AI systems that exacerbate long-standing patterns of inequality. AI Now is an American research institute studying the social implications of artificial intelligence. And their work has put them at the forefront of thinking around the challenges that AI poses to society. One of the areas where AI is already having a significant impact is in sensitive decision-making processes, such as hiring and education. For example, some companies are using emotion or effect recognition, which claims to infer people's inner emotional states or mental states from their facial features. However, these systems are based on scientific foundations that are shaky at best, and they are actually shaping people's access to opportunity in real time, according to Amber Kak, AI Now's executive director. Regulation and control To address the challenges posed by AI, experts are calling for greater regulation and control over AI systems. According to CAC, there is an urgent need to restrict these systems, as they could potentially give a handful of tech companies tremendous and unjustifiable control and power over societies and people's lives. To prevent this, 
Kack and Myers West argue that we need to introduce friction into the process and redistribute the power that these technologies currently wield. To say that AI is not currently regulated would be a misconception. While the EU and the US are still drawing up their AI regulatory frameworks, there are already indirect regulations in place. For example, the data and computational infrastructures that make up the components of current AI technologies are already regulated at many different levels, with data protection laws in the EU. What's coming in terms of regulation? According to the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Developments, OECD, AI Policy Observatory, there are already 69 countries and territories with active AI policy initiatives. However, the most significant development in AI regulation is the EU's AI Act. This will be the first law on AI put in place by a major regulator, and it will divide AI into four risk-based categories. Applications posing minimal or no risk to citizens, such as spam filters, will be exempt from new rules. Limited risk applications, such as chatbots, will require transparency to ensure users know they are interacting with an AI. High risk applications, such as using AI for facial recognition or legal matters, will need to undergo strict testing and certification processes before they can be deployed. In conclusion, while AI has the potential to revolutionize the world in many positive ways, there are also serious concerns about its impact on society. Experts are calling for greater regulation and control over AI systems to prevent them from being used in ways that could exacerbate inequality and give a handful of tech companies too much control and power over people's lives. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments below what you thought of it. Also don't forget to click the video on screen, because in it, I am going to tell you more about the fascinating scary world of AI.